As a console streamer, you're probably struggling with trying to get alerts, overlays, and everything onto your stream so that your stream looks professional and is just attractive to viewers. So what we're going to talk about today is how to do this without a PC as well as without a capture card using only your Xbox and making your life a little bit easier with a keyboard if you have it. We're going to be using Lightstream to be able to re-encode all of our video and put it back onto Twitch with overlays, alerts, chat, everything you'd want for your stream. Let's get into it. First, we're going to be doing all of this from the Microsoft Edge browser. And the Edge browser does support a USB keyboard as well as a USB mouse to be able to act just like a regular web browser. The first step is to actually go ahead and go to golightstream.com and sign up for our seven day trial and get started with our Lightstream plan for gamer. When you're signing up for a plan, make sure you choose the resolution as well as the frame rate you would like to target. If you want more information on that, we will go ahead and link a video down in the description where I explain all of the bit rates and resolutions that are offered from consoles and what our recommendations are. After you've selected the plan that you would like to do, go ahead and sign in and create your first gamer project. Next, we're going to give our project a name so that we can identify which project we're using when we go live. Make sure your resolution is matching what you'd like to stream and then tick this box so that when you go live on your console, you'll automatically go live on Lightstream without having to come back to this website and you can just continue to stream like you've normally been streaming. Next, we need to go ahead and add a couple of sources. The first one we're gonna add is our game source, which is actually our Xbox feed coming from our console being uploaded to Lightstream. For alerts, overlays, chat, and more, we suggest you use rainmaker.gg, which has a great amount of options for you to put on your stream, all completely free. Go ahead and navigate to rainmaker.gg and sign in with your Twitch account. Once you're in, we're gonna create an overlay and we're gonna make sure that the canvas here for this overlay matches the project that we have over in our Lightstream project. So for this example, I'm gonna choose 1080p. Now that we're on the Rainmaker canvas, we're gonna add a few things so we can make our stream look awesome. First, we're gonna start with some alerts. All we have to do is add this alerts panel and we're gonna move it into the center of the screen here. Next, we're actually going to add a chat window. So when a person chats on our stream, we'll be able to see that on screen. And next, we're gonna add an event list up into the upper left-hand corner. We're gonna leave the bottom left-hand corner open, which is where we're actually going to use our webcam when we're streaming. Once we have our overlay exactly what we want it to be, we're gonna go ahead and copy the overlay URL and for Rainmaker, it's in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Now that we've copied our overlay link, we're gonna add it into the Lightstream project we created earlier. We're gonna add a source and at the bottom of this, we actually see rainmaker.gg. We can click it and then paste the URL that we got from rainmaker.gg to add it to our project. Livestream also supports custom browser resources as well as a bunch of third-party integrations that you can add to your stream. The next part of this is to go live. Go to your share menu, choose Lightstream as your destination, and make sure you select the correct resolution and bitrate that matches your gamer project. And it's as simple as that. You've now upgraded your stream using Lightstream and a bunch of other free services to make sure that you have a professional looking and engaging stream. For more information and more tutorials on the Gamer Project, click the playlist on the screen now. We'll see you over there.